Hey guys, it's Eric here at Farpoint Farms. Check it out. The folks over at New Air, I reached out to them. I said, I need a fridge, preferably with a freezer, for up here in the studio. Truth is, I've been doing a lot more work up here, both editing and dealing with all kinds of the comments and everything else. Plus, I do other work out of here, the side you can't see over here. And so I picked up a microwave not too long ago and decided that a fridge is probably the next logical step. Anyway, I've got it here. It's the new air. It is a, what is it, 3.1 cubic foot mini fridge. And we're going to cut the sucker open and try it out today. I appreciate them sending it. Of course, I'll leave a link here. I've owned a bunch of new air stuff. And I've never had any issues. Got a deep freezer from them. Another mini fridge, which lives at my wife's office now. And, and now I got this. It says, features separate, well-insulated freezer compartment. Energy Star certified, vegetable crisper and can dispenser, interior light, and set it and forget it temperature dial. So let's go ahead and see if we can slide this off. Usually, yeah, yeah. just take this whole thing up. And just like that, wow. Okay, that's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. I guess I figured it was maybe about literally half that size. <laughs> That's a big fridge. That is a really big fridge. Hey, but it's a nice looking fridge. Look at that. Cool. Let me get it up off of the uh, bottom pad here if I can. Now it's important to note while I get this out of here that um, if you're going to get one of these and it's been shipped like this one was, or if you pick one of these up at the store and bring it home, something important for you to remember is that if it's been tilted on its side or laid on its back or anything like that, give it about 24 hours for this to reacclimate. All the uh, gas needs to be in the gas section and the liquid needs to be in the liquid section. And if you rush the experience and those aren't where they're supposed to be, you can damage the compressor on these pretty quickly. So anyway, this one has been sitting overnight. I picked, got it home yesterday. I kind of wanted to plug it in, but I resisted the temptation. Let me slide it back up here. So check it out. Wow. So I thought it was going to be like half the size, like this much. So this is a real treat. This is definitely going to allow me to have everything that I would want to have up here. And that would be a couple of TV dinners, to be honest with you. A couple of TV dinners and uh, maybe a bag or two of... Uh, you know, frozen corn or something like that. Just something to sustain myself while I'm up here playing. And down here, oh, we got some stuff taped up. Okay, down here is even cooler. So, looks like glass shelves. You got two of them. Uh, temperature controls here. There is a light when it's plugged in. And this bottom here, and I'll go ahead and take all this stuff apart while I'm talking, but the bottom here is like a, a vegetable drawer. It's what it appears to be to me anyway. Put like your lettuce and stuff in there. And I think the somebody probably can correct me on this, but I'm pretty sure that's to keep the moisture level lower than it is in the rest of it. Is, is that what keeps it doing well? I can't remember. <laughs> okay, got all that cleared out. Got some tape stuck on me. So there we go. Yeah. Now I'll give you an idea of the size of that. So, you know, your compressor and stuff is, is underneath here. So that crisper is not as deep as you might think, but still pretty deep. And good. I mean, it's... And that slides in the bottom. And then, like I said, we've got our two shelves here. And those are pretty big. On this side, and... Uh, oh, that is cool. <laughs> On this side... In the baggage, anyway, we have ourselves a little ice maker and a little ice scraper. Go ahead and slide those in up top. And, of course, the manual. I'll get to that in a second. But we do have our Energy Star paperwork here. Let me unhook that. And it is saying $38 a year in average cost. It's going to use 270 kilowatt hours. So if you're an off-gridder like myself, we track kilowatt usage. And that's, um, that's pretty good. It says refrigerator freezer, partial automatic defrost. This is model number NRF031. Cool. All right. Well, <laughs> this part here is kind of neat. You can stack sodas or whatnot in here. 
and there's actually two places to get them out so you could put you know three of one flavor and three of another this is long enough or big enough here that i could install uh i'm sorry not install but i could put a two liter bottle in there or some taller stuff there and a little spot here looks perfect for a butter something like that awesome okay um side not much to it nice black gloss finish the back we have our exposed compressor area here here's our um let me get this out of here actually i need my power cord and we'll see how long the cord is it's got some warnings and stuff on there just standard standard stuff you'd see with any appliance really cord yeah i don't know maybe hey, five or six feet on that and let's take a quick look at the manual and then we'll plug this thing in and wrap up the video like i said i'll leave a link to where you can pick one of these up yourself but um oh this is kind of important looking at it from the top so mine opens up this way if you wanted to switch it over there are holes here and down here you can switch the hinges to the other side which i've had to do depending on the house you live in sometimes you get it on one side sometimes you got it on another refrigerant is r600a if anyone's interested in that safety warnings just your regular refrigerator stuff yeah it talks about how to adjust the feet so if this is an un uh, if the floor wasn't level you can make adjustments to the feet just screw them in and screw them out switch the door from one side to the other and talk energy saving tips keep it away from sunlight and looks like we're looking at 25 pages in english for that 25 pages cool all right well let's let's plug this thing in i'll show you the light and then that'll wrap up the video it's not a very long video but it's not a very complex piece of machinery refrigerators just kind of do their thing which is exactly what i needed to do so actually i can plug it in right here i don't even need to move we'll just plug it in so i can show you the light you can hear it come on noise wise nothing really i mean you can hear the compressor doing its little thing but it's it's not a, a loud whining noise or anything like that so um you know already i feel it a little bit on the on the uh, surfaces as it starts to do its thing and here's our light you can see it working here and it's set to medium i'm probably going to leave it on medium and see how cold that gets it i do have a soda i'm gonna put it in here it'll be the first thing if i can get it in there there we go so there it is and it looks like a whole what a six pack maybe maybe an eight pack but we'll close that up that'll be the very first thing i have out of my new refrigerator <laughs> that'll do it for today my friends take care